today's news center notifies appointment of new chief justice to high six high courts so this comes under gs2 polity union ministry of law and justice notified the appointments of new chief justice across six high courts the new appointments are at the high courts of allahabad gauhati meghalaya orissa uttarakhand and rajasthan so the for prelims you need to know about the setting of high court uh, in 1862 high court was set up in bombay madras and calcutta seventh constitutional amendment act there can be a common high court of two or more states number of judges are decided by the president so chief justice of high court is appointed by president after consulting chief justice india and governor collegium system is also used for appointment qualification should be an indian citizen should be an advocate for 10 years should hold a judicial office for for more than 10 years and the oath will be administered before the governor the tenure will be 62 years of age by giving resignation to president and president can remove this and president can transfer one state high court judge to other state solar panel scheme will boost battery industry says pm so this comes under gs3 economy so pm modi spoke about government initiative such as rooftop solar scheme and clean cooking mission he also said the scheme would provide boost to the battery manufacturing industry and bring down the cost of batteries for electric vehicles he said that there was also an allocation of 1 lakh crore in the interim budget to encourage research and innovation as well as tax exemption for startups he urged the industry to conduct research to explore raw materials available in the country for ban- battery manufacturing he also said that tire industry should collaborate with the farmers so solar power works by converting energy from sun into power there are two forms energy generated from sun one, for our use one is electricity and another one is heat there are advantage as well as disadvantage uh, advantage it is renewable source clean source reliable and durable and there is application is wide range when it comes to its disadvantage cost of installation remains high lack of adequate infrastructure finding suitable land for large scale solar projects and poor maintenance government have taken many initiatives like international solar uh, alliance uh, where to bring a collaborative platform between other countries and kusum scheme so that to support installation of off grid solar pumps irda mandates ayush option in health covers this comes under gs2 health insurance regulator irda has set april 1 as deadline for insurers to include ayush treatment under health covers ayush refers to ayurveda yoga naturopathy unani siddha and homeopathy so irda uh, founded in 1999 which is a regulatory body created with the aim of protecting the interest of insurance customers it is a statutory body under the ird act 1999 and it is under the jurisdiction of ministry of finance it regulates and sees to the development of the insurance industry while monitoring insurance related activities with the vision of insuring everyone by 2047 irda aims to provide every citizen of our country with an appropriate life health and property insurance cover irda is also planning to launch bima trinity bima sugam bima vistar and bihar hawks thank you have a great day